welcome back to my channel. It's that time of year again and I'm very excited. As you can see, I have two of these Dollar Tree bowls. If you are a subscriber or just a watcher of my channel, then you know I've used these bowls before. In this DIY, I'm going to use them to make a really large ornament. I've already removed the label from here. Now I want to remove this one. So for one of these, I want to put two holes in the very top two small holes and I'll show you why later. I'm going to attempt to use my glue gun. Normally I would use my heating tool, but a lot of you don't have that tool, so I'm going to attempt to use my glue gun to do it. Now I will link the heating tool in the description below if you want to get one. Okay, it works. Let's do another one right across from it. Me, I'm going to go in on the inside. There we have two holes. The reason that I put these two holes in here is because I want to hang my ornament from it. Found this ornament at Dollar Tree. So let's just take this off. So now I want to try and take this knot loose. Now it took me some time, but I was able to remove the knot. So what I want to do is string these through the top and then tie it. So now I have it tied off. I might need to turn the light down so you can see it, but yeah, I really like that. So now I want to take this one put a hole like right in here. So this is the hole. I'm going to glue these two pieces together and I'm going to use my Gorilla Glue. Alright, so I'm going to remove this and put some glue all the way around. And you want to make sure that you line everything up properly. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to let this sit for about 10 minutes and then come back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And let me say this before I move on. You want the hole to be in the back of the ornament. And I'll explain why in a minute. Um, but meanwhile, I have this beautiful bell that I found at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to glue that right on the top. And this is going to represent the little piece on top of the ornament where you attach the hook in order to hang the ornament on the tree. But before we do that... Okay, I'm going to put it on top just like that. So again, I'm going to take some of my Gorilla Glue and put some on the bell. This is the front of the bell. Okay, so this is what we have so far. So it looks like it's in the center. There's a little hook up here. I want to go ahead and cut that off. So I'm going to put this aside and let it dry for about two hours. Okay, so this has set up for about three hours. And this is what we have so far. So what I want to do now is... I want to take this Dollar Tree beaded necklace and put it right around here. I'm going to take my hot glue gun, put some glue down. And then put the bead right on top. Now this is what we have. Okay, so here I have some ribbon. This is some ribbon left over from last year, but I really love it. I think it's really cute. So what I want to do is just make a quick little bow to put on here. Now because I have my snowflake floating on the inside, I don't want to put too many decorations on the outside. So what I'll do now is just add the bow.
So what I want to do is just hot glue it right on here. Okay, now I want this one a little bit shorter. Okay, so there's my bow. And right in the center it needs something. Instead of putting a round rhinestone right there, I'm going to use this rectangular one. I think I found these at Joann's. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue and put it there. just to give it a different look. Finally, I have a string light. And you can get these at Dollar Tree as well. They won't be as long as this one. And I purchased this at Amazon. I'll link these below as well. So what I want to do is just put some curls in it. Some big curls. So now I'll thread this through that hole that we made earlier. I'll turn the light on so you can see. Okay, I'm done putting the lights on the inside. So now I just want to hot glue this battery pack to the back. And I'm going to make sure that the screws are on the outside so that I can replace the battery when I need to. So I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue right on the back. Just like so. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do with this one. Okay guys, I'm back to do a second one. So we want two, okay? Um, I've already drilled the hole because I do want to put lights on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these two together. Okay guys, so back to our DIY. For this one, I'm going to add some of the Dollar Tree acrylic diamonds. And that will be these. And I decided to put them right here. There's a little circle. And in order to put them there, I need to make a hole. And I'm going to use my heating tool, which is really a wood burning tool. And if you are a subscriber, you've seen me use it several times. So again, I've used this particular tip, and I'm just going to press right in the center of that circle. Okay, and I had already did some ahead of time. So all of my holes are in place. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unplug this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is hot glue the diamonds right inside the hole. Okay, so now this is what we have. All the way around. Okay, so the next thing I think I want to do is add some mirror towel. And I want to add it right here. Now when you have something like this, you need to go with the design that's already there. That's why I'm following these lines. Okay, so I'll continue to go all the way around just like this and then I'll come back. Okay, so I'm done adding the mirror towel. I'm going to put it on the top and the bottom same way. And went ahead and put some of the acrylic diamonds on the bottom as well. So the next thing I want to do is add some of these flat back curls. And I already have some down here, so I'm just going to put it right in the center of this little design. Okay, so I went ahead and added this size curl right on top of here. Okay, I'm done. Add any other pearls to it. Next up I have some rhinestones. And I think I want to add a rhinestone 
right in the center of each one of these. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I like it, it's really pretty. Of course I need to clean up the glue webs. But yeah, from here I think I want to put a strip in the center. And I have this um, bling, it's really slinky. And I think it'll go perfect right around there. So yeah, I like that. I'll go ahead and let me see, where's the back? The back will be where I put the hole. So this is going to be the back. I'm going to start here. And of course I'm going to use hot glue to glue this in place. Now, for the top of this one, I'm going to use a silver top from a spray paint can and I'm going to glue it right on top. But before I do that, I need to decorate it. And I have this bling, and you guys have seen me use this before. So I'll be using this bling, and I've already cut some. And as you can see, it doesn't cover it all. So I'm gonna use some of the mesh bling to fill in those open spaces. Maybe I'll put it right in the center. And I'm going to cut some to put over the top as well. All right, so I'm just gonna put that on top of the mesh and then cut. And then I'm going to hot glue it to the top. Just like so. And then I'll cut the excess away. So I'm going to cut this right down the center. And hot glue this on it. Right, this is what we have now for the top. It's gonna go right in the center. Now I'm gonna use some of this Gorilla Glue to help lock this in place. There's a really thin surface. So I'm gonna have to come in and support this surface. So I'm gonna use these Dollar Tree beads along with some hot glue and glue it right around the base. Just like that. So cute, look at that. Okay, so I used this ribbon from Dollar Tree and made a bow the same way I did with the first ornament. Only difference, I did put a round rhinestone in the center of this bow instead. But yeah, so now I'll go ahead and insert the lights, come back and light them both up and let you see what they look like.